hello everyone today I'm going to show you how to implement this uh, frost arrow blast effect like this when I hit this character with the frost arrow he will be frozen like this for a while and return again let me show you the demonstration again I hit him with the fire arrow last time okay this is the frost arrow now he is frozen and he is back again all right that's what I'm going to do today. And as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous Patreons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Okay, so just like in the last time, I'm going to change uh, add a blue fire effect when I enabled or selected this frost arrow type. So for that, I will go here. So this is my poison flame. I'll duplicate this one. Fire blue. So I'll create a blue fire. So this would represent the first fire. Color is defined here. In the color of life and distribution and in the points it is like this so this one I'll change to blue like this well that's somewhat not like blue um, okay I'm gonna use this color close it close it and here I am going to use this particle here right now let's see can we equip that fire poison and frost but I haven't implemented any special effect yet for the frost arrow type so now let's do that in ch human on arrow hit so this is where I implement what happens when I hit by a special arrow type so here if it is frost arrow this part will be executed so first I'll collapse this part and make it a little bit cleaner like this I'll name this um, fire hit fire arrow hit okay now for the frost okay so when I hit by a frost arrow I should freeze animations of my character so we can do it like this get mesh mm, pose anim set pose anims like this let's say for uh, uh, I need to make sure this happens only once until I reset it okay and give a delay of uh, three seconds let's see and reset well before resetting 
I need to make sure that posts and names. I need to re-enable animations. And reset. And also, I need to disable movements of this character. Otherwise, if the character is already moving, he will continue to slide on the ground without any animation. So let's try this one. Disable moment. Well, there is no enable moment part. So what can I do? Well, let's delete this. Let's check character moment. And actually, no. We can do this. Set moment mode. Yeah, this after disabling moment we can set moment mode again to work. So this must work. Right. Let's see. Let's test this out. Okay, he's frozen. And yeah, now he's working again. Right now, let's see how to change the material dynamically. Right, so for that, I can. I'm going to use this material I created yesterday. This one M Night Iced Inst. This one Night Mat Iced Inst. okay so how do we do it right so here maybe I should collapse this part now collapse to macro frost arrow hit Right mm, now, first I need to let's get this one mesh. I already have a reference. All right, so let's uh, get material. Fortunately, we have only one material, so that's a good thing. I'll promote this one to a variable first because later I'm gonna need this to I'll call it original material so later I'm gonna need to restore the material so therefore I'll promote this to a variable like this and then I'll assign another different material Set material and I'll use this uh, night mat ice tinged and then when I resume moments I'll reassign the original material like this. Set material and 
assign the original material let's uh, test what we have developed so far right material changed and we can change back okay so this is the exact effect I wanted and what if I add some something like a ice blast and for that I have this ice blast particle effect which I got from infinity blade effects so I'll spawn it here Spawn particle emit at location. Uh, location is get a location. Get for location. And emitter template is this one. I'm not sure about the size. Yeah, and also I am going to use spawn some sound. Play sound at location. Same location as before and the sound is this one I have uh, imported some magic blast this one I'll play it like this and let's check how it turns out Okay, that's pretty good, I think. And yeah, one more thing. We need to um, we need to destroy that arrow. Otherwise, it will keep attached to the body. So I do it right here. Do I have a reference to arrow? No, I don't. Okay, let's take a reference here. Mm. I can't. Okay, let me define an input here. Arrow. And set lifespan to one. And yeah, I need to insert the array arrow reference like this. All right so that's all I want to do let's see the final result okay he's frozen now right all right and in the next episode I'll see like what should happen when I attack the enemy while he is in the frozen state so i will look into that in the next episode and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and i uploaded uh, i will upload a source code update as well and see you in the next episode goodbye